Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Wildcat Country for tonight's 23rd annual Ultimania Faculty Basketball Contest, which has been played for a long time now. So, tonight we've got the high school faculty versus the middle school and elementary faculty. There's a lot to play tonight. I think key players for the high school will be, uh, obviously, Dr. Larry Washington, far, far, uh, former Harlem Globetrotter. Jim O'Brien's a great player. We got old veterans on the middle school like Tom Rochebach and Kyle Putnam. We also got some new blood. We got Eric Rosa in the background who's playing for the high school. He's a deadly three-point shooter. And you should look out for him. And it's just a great time here. And uh, along with me tonight is a uh, high school student named Dan Morghese. He's in sports history. Last year he was in the dunk contest where he took on Dr. Larry Washington. Dan, why don't you talk about that experience with us? Uh, you know, I was just really happy to be there. You know, I, I was never the best basketball player, but uh, thankfully my athleticism uh, led me to being able to participate in the dunk contest and uh, going against Dr. Washington and eventually beating him in the end. Dan, I saw that and I was very impressed. You got some good ups and uh, it was a great contest. I think you won, by the way. Don't tell anybody. So uh, up next, we'll have the winners from the free throw contest from all the elementary schools. We'll have the introductions, and then we'll have Ultimania Basketball coming up next here on WBC. Tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why did the girl ask the mushroom to dance? Because he was a fun guy. <laughs> what do you call a pig that knows karate? Pork chop. <laughs> Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> Can I tell you another one? Um, so how does a tissue dance? Put a little boogie on it. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. -na. <laughs> uh, what is a boxer's favorite drink? Fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> March 1st, 6.53 p.m., 23rd annual Ultimania Classic. We're getting ready for the introductions right now. Actually, prior to that, they're going to announce the foul shooting contest winners. I'm sure all, all these elementary kids are very excited to, to uh, participate in this. I'm Ryan Candy for WBTV, along with Dan Morghese, calling tonight's game. Looking to have a lot of fun here. Uh, you're looking at the middle school team right now. Uh, Dan, have you a ever had any of those guys as teachers in your career? for our third, fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. And these are our top participants and champion. You'll see the results in the World of Classic and in this batch this week. Starting with our girls, we're going to bring all of our girls down together. Haley Upman, come on down from middle school. Carmela Rufiano. Ava Calero. Miranda Wright. Come on down, guys, if you're here. Our second place for girls 5 6, Mia Washington. Come on down, Mia. Come on down. And our winner for the girls 5 6, Abigail Kunis. Abigail. Come on down and congratulations. Great job, ladies. Make sure you get your certificate and stay right there. For our boys, five, six. Brody Frederick, Wyatt Greenland, Amir Lewis, come on down and you're over here. Our second place, boys, five, six, is Thomas Knox. Come on down, Thomas. 
And our champion, 5-6, Matt Abel. Come on down, Matt Abel. Great job, Matt. happening right now. The kids look very excited. Uh, it's always nice to be honored by your school district for an achievement that you that you got that you achieved. So we'll just listen to Coach Rico for a little bit longer and ask these foul shot award winners. So Dan, we're back. Uh, you got the foul shot award winners. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Who do you got? You got the middle school elementary teachers or the high school teachers? Final round of applause. Uh, you know, it's a tough pick, uh, but if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to go with the gym teachers. You know, they usually win. Uh, you know, they're playing against uh, bigger kids. You know, during a uh, gym class or throughout the day. Uh, I'm, I'm rolling with the high school teachers on this one. Nice, thank you. Rolling with the high school teachers. I'd love to see that because I might get in the game. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I tell you, it gets a little competitive out there. It's always fun. And uh, I guess we got a couple more foul shot contest award winners here. Yes, I'll tell you a few stories. Uh, the first time I played this game was uh, 2003. And they're doing the intros. And Coach Sirico intros me like this. He goes, from the English department, John Candia. And I just started laughing. I told him that story today. He said he didn't remember any apologize. It was very funny. But, you know, there's a lot of young blood on the uh, middle school team. You got new teachers, Warren Batapio, Brett Algier. Uh, you got a couple of young guys like Bill Mankins, who coaches football. He's a guidance counselor. Uh, Brad Garsha, who graduated here a few years back, was a great quarterback, played at Hartwick. He's looking to do well. And then the high school squad, they're, they're kind of older, but it's all for fun. It's for the scholarship fun for seniors, and the uh, Rotary Club sponsors it. It's his 23rd year, so it's a great event. So, yeah. Let's talk about more about your dunk contest last year. We talked about it, but uh, remember it was a crowd applause, right, to decide yeah. who won? Yeah, uh, so it was a crowd applause, and then uh, Sirico thought that uh, it was too close to decide, so we went into an extra dunk, and, uh, you know, I did a l nice little uh, reverse Second dunk off two feet, Logan and uh, Doc Wash just uh, couldn't complete the task, so uh, I ended up winning. I think I remember that, actually. And got, got another Doc Wash is up there in age. You know, he's, he's, he's the fountain of youth is not found to, but uh, I do remember you dunking. It was a lot of fun. I was sitting on the bench right to our right, and uh, job, I like that part. We're not going to do that this year. I don't, there's no willing participants, but uh, as soon as this is done, we'll get to the intros and we'll start to play. Helping us out tonight is uh, Gregory Sirico, Gabby Rusick, and Luca Cardo. Uh, They're going to be doing this, running the scores table and taking the stats, and uh, we want to thank them for that. We want to thank WBTV uh, Production. You know, we're the talent, but without them, uh, we can't. We, we cannot have happen have this happen. So. Looking forward to a fun night. Right now, you're looking at uh, Craig McElroy, Kristen Schultz, their phys ed teachers, and you got Coach Scarpula and Coach Rosa of the high school honoring the foul shot contest award winners. Photo op. And uh, right after this, we'll be back for the intros from Coach Sirico. See you in a bit. Wyatt should 
Tuesday, tied for second place, R.J. Wyatt, Robert Mosier, and Denzel Washington, all tied for second. Come on down, guys. And our third grade boys champion, Leo Shasta. Third grade boys champion, Leo, come on down. Guys, I need both of those. Yep. No problem. Here we go. Congratulations, third grade boys and girls. Future board basketball is looking very, very bright. Congratulations. At this time, we'd like to ask that everyone please stand and remove your hats for the playing of the National Anthem. Okay, we get some light music for an introduction of our players tonight, starting with the favorites in the home gold jersey, representing the middle school and elementary school. When we announce you, please run out to center court. For the middle school special ed department, Brett Alger, middle school history teacher, and for Rocket football star, Warren Patapio. Just hired the special ed department. He rushed for 3,000 yards in senior high school football player, All-American out of Hartwick from the middle school special ed department, Brad Garcia. One of the top physical teachers in the state of New York. He's an outstanding wrestling coach as well, graduate from Newburgh. Always a lot fan on the inside, Phil Zulowski. A veteran teacher from the history department in the middle school. One of the top rebounders in the history of the ultimate evening, Tom Rosenbach. It is four years of middle school guidance counselor who was forced to play in this game by Coach Rico, Bill Menkins. <laughs> Outstanding middle school phys ed teacher and girls assistant basketball coach from the phys ed department, Sean Myers. From the middle school psychology department, she is a 10-year run of undefeated middle school basketball teams, Deb Girardi. With an outside, with a deadly outside shot from the middle school fifth grade, 
lead. He scored over 200 points in this game in his career. Kyle Putnam. A two-time Section 9 Coach of the Year for the Cross, middle school phys ed teacher from Sanfordville, and the leader of the Cupid Shuffle on the side, Coach McElroy. An outstanding Wildcat basketball player back in 2008, who was part of the championship caliber team that works in the middle school custodian, Chris White. From the middle school math department, a great hire. What a great teacher and a great coach of lacrosse. The Mr. Tom Kelly. Our buildings are much safer with this young man on campus. He's an elementary school resource officer for a Wildcat track athlete, Brian Lutine. You have great internet access because of this young man from the technology department of the middle school, Jordan Gingabise. From the middle from Park Avenue Elementary School, she does a great job as a phys ed teacher and middle school, um, but my coach, Kristen Schultz. And from the technology department in the middle school, plays tremendous defense, Mr. Kevin Wilson. Okay, good job, middle school and elementary school. Here we go. Now, for the underdog high school team, underdogs in our home court, Beginning with the health department, he scored 182 points in this game. He's a sharp shooter, Jeff Jacobson. <laughs> From the athletics department, also varsity baseball coach, who led our team to the Section 9 title game last year, Pete Sherman. <laughs> From the history department, also doing a live broadcast of this event tonight. He's got tremendous energy, Ryan Candia. <laughs> this next guy played college basketball at Bucknell University. We're lucky enough to have him as our varsity basketball coach, Joe Mackey. From the history department, he's got our girls basketball team in the section nine final, four-time MVP of Ultimania, Jim O'Brien. <laughs> From the school resource office department, our building is much safer with him on campus, a former warrant number 44, Mike Kearns. Our diving coach, an outstanding teacher, and is currently a principal in the area, a state champion diver, Greg Voloshin. Gave up his job as a professional basketball player who did two tours with the Harlem Globetrotters in Europe, six foot nine, two-time MVP of Ultimania, Dr. Larry Washington. This young lady has been one of our top female players. She was a 400-point scorer at Warwick Valley as an athlete here. Her grandfather was the athletic director and the football field is named after him, it is Kathy Welling. This game doesn't go off without his support. 
Orange County's top superintendent of schools, Dr. David Leach. Hopefully we don't need this young lady tonight. She is our athletic trainer. She treats all athletic injuries. Former basketball pirates suffering high school and senior college, Sue Abel. Without question, the strongest wildcat, a physics teacher in the high school with a 380 pound bench press. Hopefully, you don't need that tonight. Coach Scarpula. Picked up as a student teacher from Portland specifically for this game tonight. He's our student teacher at Warwick High School. Jeremy Sosa. From the math department. He's coached a lot of things. He's an outstanding football coach, a great math teacher. This is his seventh year playing in the game tonight. Coach James Sierra. Assistant basketball coach and former Wildcat. A one-time MVP of Ultimania, Edward Mookie Flowers. <laughs> High school assistant principal who is on reserve tonight. If an injury should happen, she's ready to step in. Marguerite Fusco. <laughs> and our rounding out is the high school roster. He's an outstanding phys ed teacher. He's a JV football coach and JV baseball coach. Known by many as not only Coach Rosa, but Seth Rosa for his jump shooting ability. Coach Rosa. All right, let's hear it from your underdog high school team. Here we go. Gentlemen, you ready? Let's go. All right, ready guys? Okay, the rules of tonight's game is be as loud as you want, cheer as much as you can. We are going four. Guys, welcome back to Ultimania. We just finished the introductions. Uh, everybody seems pretty amped up. I got to run out there and be introduced. It was a pleasure. It looks like we're going to start. We're going to put our front five on, uh, on the court right now. Here we go. I just heard Coach Rico said the high school will be the home team. His son Gregory is in charge of the possession arrow and a lot of other things, the clock, assisted by Gabby Rusick. Luca Cardo helping out as well. Dan, what do you think is going on in that huddle right now? Uh, you know, I think uh, they're just saying, uh, you know, get Mr. Jacobson the ball, you know, uh, in the, at, at, beyond the three-point line, uh, you know, he'll really make it from anywhere. You think he's got a good three-point shot. So we got our starting lineups for the high school. Coach Mackey, Doc Washington, Coach O'Brien, Jacobson, and Mr. Sherman. Middle school, we got Brad Garsha, Mr. Putnam, Coach Kelly, Coach Mack, Coach Patafia. Who's taking the tip? Who wants to challenge Dr. Washington for the ball here? Looks like newcoming social studies teacher Warren Patafio will challenge Doc Wash. He got housed. Oh! It was a good steal by uh, Coach Mackey. Coach Mackey can play. Ugly three point shot from uh, Doc Washington, former Harlem Grove shot. A little off the mark. Got to warm up a little bit, I guess, huh? Yeah, he's definitely a little bit rusty. Uh, hasn't been on the court for a little while. He'll warm up. Good Tom rebound. Kelly, you Tom Kelly, the cross coach, missed that shot. That's Brad Garsh. He played quarterback here. He was number 15. Also played at Hartwick.
Garson to Kelly, rebound by Mr. O'Brien. Kicks it out to Mack. O'Brien to Washington. He'll be in the post, wants it, wants it. Runs into traffic. Looks foul like he draws call. the ball. Yeah, foul on the play. Is that a shooting foul? Yes, it is. Dan, you ever play pickup with the teachers back in the day when you were playing basketball? Uh, there was a there was one day where I played with uh, John Garsh, uh, uh, Coach Mackey, and uh, Coach Carter. He used to uh, coach here or Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, since then, no, haven't really played much. Jake's an inbounding to Sherman. Looks like he was pushed out of bounds by Coach Mack. Coach McElroy. He's laughing about it. Oh, no look pass. Doc, fade away. Hits the side of the backboard. Rebounded by Brad Garsha. Slows it down. Putnam off the mark. Dan, what's going on with these early shots? What do you think? Uh, you know, if I'm being honest, uh, I just think these teachers aren't ready to play. Uh, yeah. They're not very focused. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> they're, not, they're probably not warmed up. Out of bounds. Who, who's, who's possession maintains? That's uh, that's middle school, elementary school. Oh, wait. Looks like the high school will. High school ball. They maintain. Out of bounds again. Tip by Tom Kelly. Joe Mackey, Coach Mackey of the boys varsity basketball team will inbound. He's an 08 graduate of Warwick Valley. Coach OB launches off the mark. Air ball. Shaky start to the uh, Ultimania game. Yeah, I agree. You got 7.15 left here. There is no score. It's Coach Garsha bringing the ball up. He coaches football and freshman basketball for boys. Tom Kelly slowing it down. Dribble penetration, shot, fouled, almost converts. High school slash middle school math teacher Pete Sherman on the foul. This aggressive drive by Brad Garcia, you know, seems to want the ball more than anybody else. Brad is aggressive, and Tom Kelly on that drive, uh, he's a good athlete, he's quick, and uh, he's got some young, fresh legs. He's, he plays lacrosse, I believe he's the assistant varsity lacrosse coach. See if you can convert these free throws here. Off the mark on number one. Oh for two, bow for the rebound, lands in the hands of Jeff Jacobson. PE health in the high school. Mackey wants it for the three, off the mark, rebounded by Brad Garsha. Brad Garsha shoots the three, off the mark. Coach Patafio on the rebound, he'll regroup at the top, give it up to Kelly. Kelly launched a three, just off the mark, rebounded by Sherman. This is almost hard to watch. Yeah, hopefully they'll warm up. Maybe I need to get in there to warm them up. Funny, when I play with these guys, Dan, I'm the one who's off. They're usually hitting everything. Doc Walsh feeling it. It's a good post move by Dr. Washington. The former Harlem Grove child it comes up big, 2-0 high school with 6.05 left here in the first quarter. Coach Putnam brings him up. He's a JV girls coach. Launches a three. Off the mark. Rebound. Coach Sherman of varsity baseball. Out to Dr. Washington. He's going to slow the tempo down. Coach Mackey, he's a good point guard. He wants it. He wants to be the floor general. Dishes out to Doc Wash. Off the mark, short, out of bounds. Middle school ball. Hey, Rob. Coach Patafio off the mark. Putnam, aggressive. He's going to slow it down, guarded by his fellow girls coach, Coach O'Brien.
Coach Kelly. Looks like it might have been tipped by Sherman, but short. No, O'Brien, can he push the pace up to Mackey? Mackey draws the foul on the drive. Foul by Tom Kelly. 5.05 left here in the first quarter. Score is high school two and middle school nothing. Woo! Good shot selection by both teams. Yeah. Mackey off the mark, Putnam with the rebound. Big rebound by Jacobson. This is far from NBA basketball. Yeah. That's right, it's Ultimania basketball with teachers with busy lives and busy schedules volunteering their time to raise money for a charity. There's Doc Wash. Garsha is guarding them. Sticking them pretty well. Jacobson, oh, just off the mark, a little fade away. Tom Kelly looks poised out there when he, when he dribbles the ball. Looking, oh, good pass. Good put back by Brad Garsha. Yeah, Coach Mack, your coach, was the aggressor on that. Couldn't convert, but Garsha right there to clean it up. Stay in there. Kelly playing some aggressive defense on Coach Mackey. Mackey to inbound to Dr. Washington. Oh, good D, Brad Garsha. Two on two. Coach Jim O'Brien had to break it up. Let me tell you, Coach Jim O'Brien is a great player. He might be up there in age, but he's he's he can shoot. He's a competitor. He likes to play. Even more than that, he's an amazing basketball coach. <laughs> yeah, he's good. They, they're going to go to the section finals, Dan. I think the game right now is scheduled at New Paltz. I don't even know who they're playing. Yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure yet, but uh, they had a good win against NFA last night. Yeah. There he is. Everybody's middle school favorite, Tom Raschenbach. My old eighth grade uh, social studies teacher. Yeah, well, how, what was that like? Uh, you know, it was a fun class. Yeah. Uh, he joked around a little bit. Uh, but, you know, he was a good teacher, and we got a lot of stuff done. I hear nothing but rave reviews from kids that I teach as freshmen. Raschenbach, again, taking it strong, a little off the mark. He's a good athlete. Coach Rosa bringing the ball up court. Picked by Sierra. Kicks it out to Dr. Gregory Velocian, who's just off the mark. Right back to Mookie Flowers. Former graduate of Warwick, played ball here. Rosa drives. Kicks to Velocian. Deflected by Raschenbach. It's going to be middle school ball. 3-10 left. Score, middle school four. High school two, right here in the first quarter. This is Brett Alger. He's a new special ed teacher, lefty. He's got some good guard skills. Shot is up off the mark. Rebounded by Coach Sierra. First time he's made an appearance in this game in a long time. I'm glad to see him. It's contemporary of mine. Velocian, no look pass. Eric Rosa pops, little off the mark. Tip by Sierra, right to Coach Myers. Mrs. Girardi pops. Oh, just off the mark, she can play as well. There's Mookie Flowers. He's a basketball coach here, no foul called, but he converts. Good Tied drive. at four. Good drive from the big man. I agree with you, Dan. Mookie can play. It's Brett Algiers, he's a new middle school teacher, out to Deb Girardi. Spin move on Sierra. Shoots it lefty. Oh. That was a smooth move. Okay. okay. It was smooth. It's always important to be able to use both hands. Ms. Girardi just showed why. Rashbach slowing it down, calm, cool, and collective. Veteran teacher, veteran Ultimania, shot. Oh. T Raj, money. He's got four points. Wookie Flowers pops, fade away, just off the mark. Dr. Velocia fights the rebound with Sierra to give it back to Rosa. Rosa, fade away. Mookie there to clean up the mess and draws the foul from Tom Raschenbach. Questionable call by the ref. Uh, yeah. Seemed to be a clean, uh, clean block. Yeah. Ross didn't like the call. It's okay though. He's playing it. So we got middle school eight, high school four. One fourteen left in the first quarter. I'm going in the second quarter. Let's go in the second quarter.
hard to concentrate with uh, the loud music and cheers of joy from the students. <laughs> it's a good environment. 0 for 2 for Mr. Flowers. Sean Myers on the rebound, and he's a middle school PE teacher. Coaches some sports. He helps out with girls' basketball. Shot is good. This middle school team is just tearing it up. Yeah, middle school, they're, they're amped up. They want to play well. That was Coach Scarpula trying to dish to Coach Sierra. A little off the mark. That's okay. Brett Algiers brings the ball up. Oh, a little fake and bake. Lost control. Looks like Dr. Velocian fouled Brett there. It's aggressive defense. Yeah, good defense. Brett Algiers is, is sneaky quick. There's Rosh wanting it. No foul called. I thought, he was, I thought uh, Scarpula might have held him, but they let him play. They defer to Rosa. Rosa bringing the ball up court to Mookie Flowers. Guarded by Mrs. Girardi. Mookie sticks. Clean shot. To three. Less than 20 seconds left. Girardi wants it. Ah, oh, double teams. High school's feeling it now. They want to get back in the game. If they get a bucket, make it a one-point game before the second quarter starts here. Brett in the post. This is it back. Oh, oh, time ran out. So at the end of the first quarter, score middle school 10, high school 7. We'll be back for more action in the second quarter. Welcome back to second quarter action, Ultimania game. Mr. Candia had to uh, step onto the court, so it's left up to me. I'm gonna kill it, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. Wilson takes it up the court. Whistle's blown, travel call. Candia is still playing defense. Coach Candia takes it up the court. He's a floor manager. Good move to the inside. Fouled on the play. That'll be two shots for Candia. Getting ready for the first shot. First shot off the money. One more. Good rebound by Candia following his own shot. Good take, fouled again. That'll be another two shots for the high school faculty. Player to watch on the floor right now is Coach Sosa, student teacher, student gym teacher from Cortland. First shot off the money. Hard to concentrate in these conditions. Loud music and a lot of cheers. Second shot. On the money. That one's good. Score, 10-8. Middle school, elementary school up. 9.02 left in the second quarter. Coach Zoom with the ball.
Coach Zoom gets the ball back again. Shot. Good. That's a three-pointer. It's now 13 to eight. Good shot from Officer Kern. Kevin Wilson takes the ball up. Guarded by Sue Abel. Mankins passes. Three. Off the money. Sosa with the rebound. Ryan Candia with the ball. Puts some moves on. Passes to, this is Welling. Sue Abel with the ball now. Into the post. Sosa. Shot's good. Two points. Pass to Kevin Wilson, a little high, but manages to bring it down. Good shot, Sosa with the rebound, taking it up court. Decides to take a three, off the rim. Mrs. Welling with the shot, off the money as well. Coach Mankin biffs the rebound, drops it right out of bounds and questionable call seem to be out on uh, middle school, elementary school team. Shot off the backboard. Bounces off of Coach Zoom and out of bounds. That'll be high school ball. Sue Abel with the ball. A little bit of a moving screen set by Ryan Candia. Good screen by Sosa. Can't deal with the ball strip. Zumlowski takes the ball up court. Shot, no good. Rebound, Kevin Wilson. The putback is good. Sue Abel now with the ball. Ryan Candia with the ball. Passes to Officer Kern. And a foul is called. It's a reaching foul. And they'll take the ball, high school will take the ball from the sideline, or the baseline, sorry. Swabel inbounding, off to Kern. Shot no good. Rebound. Middle school takes it up court. Bill Mankins. Bill Mankins contemplating the shot, but passes to Zumlowski. Zumlowski with the shot, off the mark. Ryan Candia will let the ball go out of bounds. The high school will take possession. Passes to Sosa. Sosa showing off some skills. Passes to Coach Candia. Coach Candia with a three off the mark. Kevin Wilson with a fadeaway blocked by Coach Sosa. Sosa everywhere on the court right now. Probably also the youngest person on the court. Sosa with the rebound. Passes to Sue Abel. Shout out to Suda for fixing me up during football season. Coach Candia, two pointer. Sue Abel, get it done! Coach Candia talking a little bit after the play. Shot by Kevin Wilson, air ball, no good. Ball, ball, High ball, school ball. will take the ball. Quarter over. Quarter, I didn't play too well. I got a bucket, I didn't play too well. I did my best. And subs are coming in. Turnovers. Let's let the big boys get the job done. Coach O'Brien, Mackey, and Sherman. And Washington Coach, back on the court. Jacobson to inbound the ball to Mr. O'Brien. Doc Wash with the ball outside the three point line. Passes to Jeffrey Jacobson, but pass is deflected. Jim O'Brien in the post, makes a move, fade away, no good. Coach Patafia with the rebound. Coach Kelly, nice move. Passes to Coach McElroy. Shot no good. Kelly with his, another rebound. Hey, 
play out there. I want my horse prison. Well, uh, Coach Candia on the court, uh, being brutally honest, uh, shot selection was a little off, but showed a lot of heart out there and uh, cooperated with his teammates very well. No, I, I, uh, Dan, I appreciate it. You like Bill Walton. You know Bill Walton is? Great player, very critical. I love it. Should have made those free throws. I got that one dish from uh, you know Sue Abel. She got that done. That was a great pass. It was a little chaotic out there. I didn't know what defense we were playing. Communication with them was all about the fun. Kyle Putnam launches short. Back to Kelly. Coach O'Brien battling. 342 left in the first half. Middle school 17, high school 12. I gotta tell you, Dan, I was really more worried about this broadcast. Oh! Did he call glass, Dan? I don't think he oh, did. Yeah, man. Shot but, does not count. But hey, you take those, right? You take those. Coach Patafio out to Kelly. Kelly dribbling. Wants it off. Rebound, Mr. O'Brien. Pass to Mackey, a little sloppy. I think the game overall tonight is sloppy. I mean, I can attest from my play and the play we're watching. But hey, it's all good fun. You see Mr. Avila back there with the security and his great, you know, his police courses that they're teaching. Putnam bringing the ball up. Jacobson's is a pick set on him. Putnam going under and over. This is to Kelly. I, I gotta tell you, I'm trying to get that Jeremy Sosa involved. He's an athlete. He, he showed play. a lot of heart on the court. Yeah, he's, a lot of skills. Yeah, he's a good player. I like him. It's Mackey. Dri oh, shaking the bacon for the three. Ah, uh, look good, but no good. Putting him on the rebound. Says Putnam bringing the ball up. It's picked by Patafio. Putnam. You know, he's he's got a good shot. He's off tonight. He can play. There's Kelly on the easy rebound. Good rebound by Kelly and a good putback. Yeah, sometimes you need those buckets to get you going, right? Yep. There's Doc, stick by Brett. Oh, stick by Kelly, draws the foul. Blocking foul on Kelly. Yeah. Oh, I think they're in a one and one situation, right? He's on the line. I believe so. Yeah. I love it, Russian boxing coach mode. Town Raj boxing coach mode, I love it. Did you notice that, Dan? Did you notice Raj urging on his team? On the baseline? That was best. I love that. Hey, Doc Walsh missed from the free throw line as well. Man, we're off. It's okay. Brad Garsha, Mackey guarding him. Oh, I think he wanted that. Patafio, oh, just off the mark. Coach, that's okay, Coach. Good shot by Warren Patafio, yeah. just off the mark. Great hire by Warwick. This Jacobson looking relaxed, bringing the ball up. I got to tell you, Dan, I don't like playing. I'd rather play man. We're playing zone. I don't know. What's your preference on the court? Uh, I would play man. Just uh, doesn't look like any of the teachers do very well under pressure, so... You apply a little bit of pressure to them, they, they seem to uh, break down a little bit. Wow, yeah. We need to have a teacher-student game to prove that we can play a little bit. We should do that again. Why don't we do that anymore? Did we do that? I mean, we don't do it anymore. A long time ago, Dan, they used to have this tournament. There, Dr. Washington hits a free throw. The high school should have 16 on the board. It says 15. Or maybe it was, I thought it was, yeah, there you go, 1916. And he's good for two in a row. He's warming up. Good job, Doc. Get the high school back in the game. It was called the March Madness Tournament, and it raised money for football. And it was three on three, and it was a teacher team, and I loved it. Coach Mack, a little off the mark. Doc Walsh kicking it out. Mackey wants to drive. Good defenders. Oh, he draws the foul off Kelly. Yeah. Good moves by Coach Mackey. He can dribble. He's a, he's a, he's a good point guard. He's a good general, a floor general. I like the way he plays. I mean, when Joe Mackey's missing free throws, you know it's an off night. And he's yeah. got a great pure shot. 
Kelly, coast to coast. No Good foul drive. call. They could have called the foul on Sherman. There you go. That's the Tom Kelly I know. And as the high school throws the ball out of bounds, 21-17, 50.5 seconds left in the first half. And we're coming up on halftime. We want to invite our fans to come out and do the stupid shuffle with us at halftime. We're getting ready to go. Led by Coach McElroy. And they've been practicing all these dances in Sanford was trying to teach them to me, so she's gonna be out there at halftime. I'm kind of excited about that actually. Me too. T. Kelly is heating up. Trying to seal the deal here for the middle school at the half. 35 seconds left in the first half. Shot off by Jeff Jacobson. That was a deep three from Jacobson. Yeah. Sometimes you think those deep threes can get you right back in the game. TK is feeling it. Driving. Finds Batavio, kicks it out to Brad Garcia. Off the mark. Jacobson, watch out from behind there. Oh, Kyle Putnam there. Jacobson launches. Oh. Deep. Big Nine. shot. Big shot. The high school needed that. It's now a three-point <laughs> deficit. Look at Brad. Brad's in, Brad's in quarterback mode. Launches it. Way off. Okay, Dan, so what do you think about the first half? Uh, you know, it was a little rough, but, uh, you know, the middle school really came together and uh, played well. Uh, high school started to come back at the end. Uh, it's a tight game. See what happens in the second half. A little sloppy, a little rough. I played sloppy myself. Score at halftime, middle school 23, high school 20. We're gonna do some dancing right now. We'll see you back in the third quarter. Stay tuned to WVTV Ultimania 2019. Yeah. Are you wearing your seatbelt? Uh, no. Kim, you know that people not wearing a seatbelt are 30 times more likely to be ejected from the vehicle. Airbags are useless unless you're wearing your seatbelt. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll wear my seatbelt from now on. For more information on seatbelt and car safety, visit www.safercar.gov. Home fire drills give your family a plan of action. Show everyone two ways out of the house, pick a safe meeting spot, and get there in under two minutes. Then practice so everyone knows exactly what to do. Go to ready.gov slash fire drill and learn how to prepare your family.
they said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. Rosa, down to Mookie Flowers. Good post move, fade away, in. Good shot. Boogie Flowers played for Coach Jim O'Brien, JV back in the day. That's when Jason Boone was around. Great shot. He's a tough player. Good drive. Rebound by Coach Flowers. And an aggressive dribble down court, but settles around the three-point line and takes a shot and drills it. Boom, shakalaka. I don't think it was a three, though. I think it was a two. It was a two pointer. It was a, yeah, it was a two pointer. Okay, so that puts him up three. Girardi, Girardi with the ball. Just dishes it off to Rochenbach. Rochenbach with a three off the front of the rim. Sierra with the rebound. I just learned that Rochenbach is the official team coach of the middle school as well. Rosa takes a three. Shot is no good. Bounce back out. Back to Rosa. Mid range. Off the front of the rim again. And a rebound dished out to Girardi. Girardi has got a basketball experience. He's slowing the ball down. Gets tipped by Sierra, who's being aggressive. And a mid-range shot off the money. Gets her own rebound. Decides to drive to the basket, but short, doesn't know but what to do. It. Rauschenbach drives, takes a shot. Questionable shot. I think after the you know, first half is over and you, you sit down for 10 minutes, you want to warm up quick. Yeah. Mookie Flowers with another three. Just off. Gets his own rebound, though. Puts it back up, but it will not count. Mookie Kate. Flowers is trying to single-handedly wheel the high school back into this game with his aggressive play, and they're up by one point. Cross-court pass to Girardi. Takes the shot. Out to Rauschenbach, three-pointer. No good. Tap, tap back out to Girardi. Doesn't know what to do with it. He's got to get rid of the ball. Good drive. Fouled. Great hustle there. Middle school to inbound the ball. Rauschenbach with it now. Good throw. Shot no good. Making that happen for the middle school is Jordan. He's the middle school tech guy. He's really hustling out there. Coach Scarpula dishes it to Mookie. Rosa with the ball now. High pass, caught. Back to Rosa. Three. No good. Rebound. No. Coach Flowers with the rebound again. Rosa now with the ball. A little sloppy. Good shot. Rebound. Coach Garpula puts it back up, and that's two for the high school team. Velocian on the drive there. Scarpula there to pick up the rebound and put it back, and the high school is up three. Like the no hat look for Scarpula showing off the bald head. <laughs> that happens with these, Jim. High school ball dribbled out of bounds. Scarpula to Rosa, Rosa to Mookie. Let's see what Flowers has got in store for us here. I think he wants the shot here. He's going to take it. Ooh. Cross court pass to Rosa. Rosa drives, shot blocked, out of bounds. High school will maintain possession. I feel like the two guys out there maintaining for their team are Tom Roshbach from the middle school and Mookie Flowers. Scarpula goes up, rejected by Roshbach. It's a good shot by Scarpula, but better defense from Mr. Roshbach. Coach Roshbach in the in the zone right now. Wants to get his team back in the lead. 
three-point shot, no good. Sierra with the rebound. Takes it up court. Dribbling around, decides to offload it to Mookie. Mookie back to Sierra, mid-range jumper. Shot no good, rebound. Jordan, the tech guy, going coast to coast. Mookie getting back on D. Right with the shot. No good, rebound, Coach Garpula. Whips it to ball off. Shot a little high. Caught by Rosa. Ball almost came our way there, Dan. Sierra to Mookie. Mookie out to Rosa. Rosa, three-point shot, and it's good. Rosa needed that. That's his specialty. He needed to hit that. Good job, Coach Rosa, with 4.53 left in the third quarter. High school now with the lead, 29-23. Girardi with the ball. Drives. Passes out to Rauschenbach, mid-range. Two-pointer good. Coach T. Rosh, feeling the flow, doing the wildcat dance. Mookie Flowers with the ball now. Screen by Sierra. Mookie with the ball. Good move. Takes a shot. Just off. Put back no good from Scarpula. I think Scarpula was looking for the foul there as he walks back smiling. Good hustle by Scarpula. Shot from the, oh, Mookie Betts with the rebound. Cross court pass, leaping catch, shot blocked, dished out to Sierra, back down off the side of the backboard. Jordan, coast to coast, with the left. Good Whoa. lefty layup, shows some skill. Sierra now with the ball, taking it up court. Jordan not just about tech services, he's about balling as well. Mookie with the ball. Put on some moves, drives. No one there, but Rosa will receive the ball. Rosa with a three. No good. Rebound by Girardi. I like how Girardi plays. She's very calm out there. She's a floor general. She's running the show right now. Very aggressive, too. And a good behind the back move. Dishes to Rauschenbach. Rauschenbach drives. Reverse layup, good, two points. T. Rosh, right now, in my opinion, is the MVP of this game. He is not letting down as the middle school comes back to tie it with 3.04 left in quarter three. 29 all. Both teams making substitutions. Listen, I'm looking to see Dr. Leach out there play for the high school, and we have not yet seen athletic director Gregory Sirica. I, I really want to see that. Oh, here we go. We got Sosa back on the court. Sosa. Mr. Kearns, Dr. Leach, Sue Abel. It looks like they need another player out there. I think we, I think AD Greg Sirico needs to get out there right now. High school's only got four out there. High school's only got four out there right now. Need one more. That's Mrs. Welling, Captain Welling, special ed high school going back. Captain All Welling right. stepping up to the plate, ready to take the challenge. Gotta love that. Crowd bouncing to the music. Sosa Bounce will. Into it. They love that halftime. Sosa will take the ball. Good screen set by Cohen. And a good I, layup by Sosa. I, got, I love Sosa. Uh, high school student teacher for phys ed. He's a good athlete. Great guy. Great move. Zumlowski with the shot. No good. Kevin Wilson with the rebound. Back out to Zumlowski. And he drives. Shot and one. No good. Hey, I'll give Zoos a lot of credit there, man. He jumped high, hung on, drew the foul, almost had the underhand scoop, and now he's on the foul line. Always a wrestler, but hey, I'll give him some props there. Nice job, Phil Zumalaski. Let's see if he can convert here. First shot from Zumalaski. Ref picking something off the court. Seemed to be a hairband. First shot, banked in, good. He called glass. We yeah, all, I think he called glass on that one. We all call glass, don't we, Dan? Second shot, no good, but he gets his own rebound. Wilson with the ball now. 
drive Wilson with the ball, tips it out to Zumlowski. Zumlowski thinks about it, but just dribble the ball. Back out, deep three. No good, rebound by Bill Mankins. Bill Mankins with the hustle. Willing to crash to the floor for his team. Dr. Leach pointing out that the middle school had it out of bounds. He wants the ball. Ah, oh, Chris the custodian with the press. I love it. Bill Mankins versus Sosa. Sosa puts on a move, dishes out. Sue Abel with the ball. Back out to Sosa. Sosa, three pointer. No good. Mankins with the rebound. Out to Zumlowski. Bill Mankins with the Leach. ball. Bill Mankins tries to post up from the three-point line. And a good steal. High school decides to slow it down. Kathy Welling taking the ball up. Sosa in the post. Good shot. No good. Up rebound. Under, just a little too strong. Shot no good. Sosa with a rebound. In the post. Fouled. Sosa ripping the air ball from the air, willing his way to the foul line. High school up, 31-30, 148 left in the third quarter. Sosa will take two shots. The so Rico in for Leach. <coughs> Sosa's first shot, good. Sosa getting it done at the line. Let's see if he can convert two. Sosa's second shot is good as well. Hey, that student teacher's making a ploy for a full-time job. Zumlowski takes the ball up. Back out to Wilson. Wilson shot, no good. Rebound by Zumlowski and a putback, no good. Sosa with another rebound. And he takes it up for it, but it's oh, stolen. Foul there. And he takes it back. He is all over the place right now. Take a charge out there. Coach Sirico with the ball now. Cross court pass to Sue Abel. Sue with a shot. Oh. No good. That was a great look by Coach Sirico to Sue Abel. Just couldn't convert. A little toilet bowl out. Great look. Looks like middle school will get the ball back. And the school's police officer dribbles out of bounds. The middle school ball. Zumlowski takes a three pointer. No good. Sosa with a rebound. Sue Abel can't catch up to the ball. Yeah, pass just a little too far for him. It's okay, I have a good idea by Sosa, but sometimes it doesn't work out. So middle school will now take possession. Zoom out to... Chris the Custodian. Good shot selection, but no good. Kevin Wilson with it the rebound close. dribbles out of bounds. Yeah, now me, Wilson's a defensive specialist, man. I can tell you from experience. Go ahead, Dan. Me personally, I uh, I played against uh, Sosa in uh, gym class, and uh, I had to guard him. It was one of the toughest matchups I've ever had, but we had a we had a good going at it. That's good. Healthy competition is great. Sosa with some moves takes a three. Shot is no good. Rebound by Kevin Wilson. Chris Gastonian with the ball now. Sosa pressing up on defense. Wilson decides not to take the shot. Banking shot from Chris the Gastonian. He called glass. Because we I all think we play. did. Sirico with a deep three. Shot is good. <laughs> The buzzer beater three. I mean, how can you not love that? The AD, Coach Sirico. Score in the third quarter. High school 36, middle school 33.
Yeah. Are you wearing your seatbelt? Uh, no. Kim, you know that people not wearing a seatbelt are 30 times more likely to be ejected from the vehicle. Airbags are useless unless you're wearing your seatbelt. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll wear my seatbelt from now on. For more information on seatbelt and car safety, visit www.safercar.gov. Home fire drills give your family a plan of action. Show everyone two ways out of the house, pick a safe meeting spot, and get there in under two minutes. Then practice so everyone knows exactly what to do. Go to ready.gov slash fire drill and learn how to prepare your family. I'm happy that the video production class was able to put this together. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing this fourth quarter action. WVTV is taking leaps and bounds on the direction of Dan Chaconi. You guys do great work. And uh, let's hope we ride out this fourth quarter and have a great time and uh, see who gets the victory here. Who's on the floor for the high school? We got Chad Scarpulo. James Sierra look like twins right now. Jeff Jacobson, Dr. Velocian, and Eric Grosser. Oh, oh, hold on. We're trying to get Marguerite Fusco in the game. We're trying to get associate principal Fusco. I personally want to see her in the game. I like, I like playing on the same squad with her. I would like to see her step onto the court. It'd be a great she contact a couple, story. She made a couple shots last year, I remember. I was running out there with her. So we got Dr. Velocian stepping out. The captain Welling. We're good. School, we got Chris Wisley out there, Coach Wilson, Coach Zoo, uh, Menkins, and Coach Lutine, uh, so Officer Lutine from Sanfordville. So their personnel didn't change that much. I think they changed two guys. Chris the custodian to Zoom. Zoom putting on some moves. Back to Chris, stolen Rosa, by Rosa. No foul call. There's aggressive middle school defense. You gotta respect that. Rosa to inbound the ball. Passes to Scarpula. Shot no good. Rebound. Ball's loose. Chris the custodian with the rebound though. Almost falls out of bounds. Bill Mankins with the ball now. One of my football coaches. Chris the custodian for three. No good. High school ball. It's tipped out of bounds by middle school. Chris White. Chris White. Gregory Sirico just told me Chris's last name is White. What would we do without Gregory? Chris White, great player out there. Scarpula with a good drive and a good hook layup, but no good, and he is fouled on the play. Scarpula taking it strong. Ironically, he's known for dishing out hard fouls. Now he took one. Let's see if he can convert the foul line. Ref helping Rosa set up at the block. And the first shot from Coach Scarpula, no good. Second shot is good. I just got a complaint from Warren Patapio saying that Sirico's shot was after the buzzer. We'll have to go to the videotape on that. Zumlowski. Dishes and Kevin Wilson with the ball. That shot, no good off the backboard. Sierra with the rebound. Dishes to Jeffrey Jacobson. Jeffrey with a contested three. No good. Chris White with the rebound. Oh, good behind the back move. Had Rosa lost. Joel Mankins with the ball now. Kevin Wilson takes a deep three. Shot off the mark. Wilson not, a, not afraid to pop the ball from anywhere. Sue Abel will check into the game for Kathy Welling. Sue Abel gave me a great assist. You set me up nice when we were out there teaming up. I loved it. Scarpula to Rosa. Rosa will bring it up the court. A floor general, Rosa commanding his team, and Jeffrey Jacobson in the post. Rushed shot by Jacobson, and uh, Chris White gets the ball outside, and he'll, he'll decide to take that one up court. Chris White, the middle school wins, unsung hero, baby. He's doing all the dirty work. I love it. Kevin Wilson with the ball now. A little bit of a shoulder check. Bill Mankins with the ball. Zoom. Three. No good. Rebound by Jacobson. 
Jacobson, He'll take back. it up court. He tried the Mark Jackson teardrop, would not fall for him, even though he's a lot taller than Mark. Chris White with the ball now. Looks like he's gonna shoot a three. No good. Zumlowski with the rebound. Fadeaway jumper, good! Two points. Coach Zoom with the plyometric workout at display, in display there. Rosa takes it up. Contested shot is good. Rosa gets the friendly rim. High school maintains the lead. Kevin Wilson now takes it up court, guarded by Sue Abel. Puts on a move. Shot, no good. Jeffrey Jacobson with the ball, dishes to Rosa. Pass to Sue Abel, but a little high. Lack of communication there by the high school team. Coach Rashabach calling for the subs, he wants in. As we approach the seven minute mark, we're gonna change personnel. Score is high school 39, middle school 35. There's a lot of energy in this building. It looks like the big guns are coming in. And uh, this is what the, uh, the, the former jocks love. They want the crunch time. You'll see some hard-nosed basketball going on right now. You got O'Brien, Mookie Flowers, Coach Mackey, Dr. Washington, and Pete Sherman for the high school. They're going to take on Putnam, Tom Kelly, Warren Batafio, Greg McElroy, and Brad Garson. Coach Kelly will take the ball up now. Screen by Putnam, and he's just gonna dribble this one out. Kelly thinks about the three, but dishes it to Putnam. Putnam to Tafio. Tafio dishes it back to Kelly. Kelly takes a three, and one. That'll be three shots. Wow, what'd you think there? You think that was a foul? I think there was a little bit of a push there, but uh, you know, it's basketball. You gotta let them play, so I don't really agree with the call. Yeah. Well, good for the middle school. Let's see if Tom Kelly can convert these two free throws. The first free throw is good. The second shot from Kelly is good. Tom Kelly, ice at the line, ice. Oh, that was a three-pointer, so he gets another shot. He gets another shot. That. Yeah. Third shot from Kelly. Is good. I'm impressed. I think it's really hard to make three in a row from the free throw line. There's a lot of pressure right now. The clock is winding down. He brought them right back in the game with those three big free throws. Good move from Coach Mackey. Mackey with a step back, no good. Rebound by Doc Wash. Passes into the post, Mookie Flowers with a shot and one, no good. Good he foul will. call there, good foul call. Mookie was working for it, they he, fouled him. He will get two shots though. I think, was that Coach Patafio on the foul? I, I, I was trying to figure out who was sticking Mookie Flowers. I think it was Patafio. I believe so. First shot, no good. Bounces out of the rim, unlucky bounce. Second shot, no good. Doc Wash with the rebound. Aggressive dribbling, but stolen by Putnam. Putnam ripped it right out of there. Putnam with some fancy dribbling down to Mack. Mack between the legs pass to Kelly. <laughs> Love it. Kelly with the three, no good. Gets his own rebound. Pump fake and drive. I agree with that. Coach O'Brien taking the charge. Way to be Coach O'Brien. He knows basketball. He was set. High school ball. Coach Mackey dribbles up the court, guarded by Kelly. Dishes to Washington. Post move by Washington, shot is good. Two pointer. Post up Brad Garsha. Brad, Brad stunned by that, but that was a great veteran move by Doc Walsh. Coach Kelly, top of the key. Drives, floater. No good, Doc Walsh with the Doc rebound. Walsh in the zone. He's got energy, maybe he saved it up for this fourth quarter. Dishes it out to Kelly. Kelly with a deep three. Shot is good. Coach Mackey. There we go. Coach Mackey. Putnam taking the ball up is being guarded by Mookie Flowers. 
I'm not going to lie, I'm loving the Jackson 5 right now. Some good energy. Rosh and Brett are ready to go back in. They need to take control for the middle school. They're down six. Patafio, shot no good. Rebound, Brad Garsha. Draws the foul. That'll be two shots for Brad Garsha. Brad needs to get going here. Brad needs to get going. He's been a little off. He's a great athlete. So, Warwick Valley High School faculty is holding on to a six point lead. It's 44 38. Shot missed by Brad. 5 11 left in the fourth quarter. Rauschenbach will take out McElroy. Brett Algier will come in. He'll take out Warren Batafio. Looks like they're squatting up here for the last 5 11 because they're down six points. Jacobson in for Sherman as well. It's getting intense here. I feel it. Brad's second shot. Good. There's Garsh. Wash out to Mookie Flowers. The bowlers all want the ball now. Mackey wants it. Flowers wants it. Doc Wash would gladly take it. Shot no good. Rebound, rebound by Flowers. Put back no good. O'Brien with his own rebound and is fouled. Coach O'Brien willing his way to the foul line. Using his veteran skills. After this game, he's got to get ready for his girls' section nine final on Sunday, which is scheduled for 7.30 at New Paltz University. Let's see if we can uh, expand the high school's lead here with these, with these free throws. First shot is good. He's got a great shot. He can play inside, he's also got some good outside touch. For an old timer, he still held on to his skills. Second shot, no good. Good rebound by Washington, but it's knocked out of his hands. Rauschenbach out to Kelly. Kelly will dribble up court. Kelly with a three. No good. Shot will. Oh! Rauschenbach saves it and dishes it back out to Kelly. Kelly with a shot off the backboard and good. Two points. 45 41 high school team. Good drive from Mackey. And he is fouled. I feel like they're calling the fouls now, Dan. Maggie trying to penetrate there. Got Kelly, he really haven't beat, but Kelly pushed off so that they gave him some free throws. So Mackey will now get sent to the line for two shots. First shot is good. Expected nothing less from the Warwick veteran. Second shot is good as well. 2008 Brad, varsity basketball player, Mackey. Brad Garcia takes the ball up, guarded by Mackey. Dishes it to Brett. Brad takes it back and drives. Good shot, no good. Putnam with the rebound, mid-range jumper, no little good. Short, little short. I can tell off the release there. Mackey with the ball, guarded by Kelly. Aggressive defense. Jim O'Brien with a good save. He needs help. Jacobson Passes comes to Jacobson. the top. Mookie Flowers with the ball, dishes it to the post. Doc Wash. Shot is no good, but Jim O'Brien with the rebound. Jim O'Brien is back at the line for two shots. He was fouled on his way up. Jim O'Brien converts his first. Jordan Cangelosi waiting to get in the game here. Second shot. The refs missed that one. You can bring him in between foul shots. Second shot is good from Jim O'Brien. Coach OB. Kelly will take it up. Guarded by Rosa. Putnam sets the screen for him. Kelly drives. No good. Rebound by Jeffrey Jacobson. Dishes out to Coach Mackey. Mackey pacing himself. Takes a three. Shot is good. That could be the dagger. 11 point lead with 318 left. Still a lot of game, but. That's a big shot from Coach Mackey right there. 
Putnam dribbles up court. Screen set by Kelly. Drives, deflected and caught by Jeffrey Jacobson. Pressured, dishes it to Rosa. They keep giving the ball to Mackey. Timeout, Coach Sarika. So the Warwick Valley High School team holding on to a 52 to 41 lead with uh, 2.57 left in the fourth quarter. Hey Dan, I didn't know we could call timeouts here at Ultimate. That's when you know it's serious. When you're calling timeouts. Or maybe just for a substitution to players. Possibly. But it looks like Warwick may keep their same five. Well, there's six on the court right now for Warwick. This time out really is about Coach Rico thanking Rifta, which is the Warwick Valley Teachers Association for their help with this event. And uh, the Lions Club helps out with this event. And that's a great community event. As you saw at halftime, everybody danced to the Cotton Eye Joe and the Cuban Slide and the Everybody Clapped Your Hands song. And uh, just an event. I, I think the little kids really like it. I know my kids were ecstatic. I said, hey, did you see me score? He goes, no. I was just hanging out. I, I, I just liked the noise. It made me laugh. <laughs> So we will resume play. And it is high school ball. And there are children loose on the court. <laughs> the children are excited. Where's the security? I like Rosh's intensity right now. He, he wants to will middle school back in the game. He's being a leader out there. Jeffrey Jacobson dishes to Doc Wash. Doc Wash putting on some moves, being double teamed. Good pass to Jim O'Brien. Jim O'Brien with a nice move on Putnam. O'Brien is realizing no sh there's no shot clock in this game, so. Good steal. That's Brett Algier. And two points for the middle school, elementary school team. Coast to coast for the first year teacher, Brett Algier. Good job, Brett. Rose will dribble up court, passes to Doc Wash. Doc Wash drives off the side of the backboard, but gets his own rebound. This is a Jim O'Brien two-pointer for the old-timer. Jelosi, great defense there. Not enough as O'Brien gets the putback with 208, 208 left in the game. Putnam takes the ball up court. Screen set by Kelly. And a good drive. Rebound. I, li I like Jordan Cangelosi. He's got game. Warwick Valley High School just... High school's looking a little tired, but they want to maintain the lead. There's 145 left, so I think this is where Coach Rico is just going to call about for 8 million substitutions. Yeah. Coach Scarpola will step onto the court now. Just glance up, I just glanced over at the middle school bench. Look a little shocked. I think they thought they were going to you know, take this game. I'm not surprised they showed a lot of effort. And a three. Sweet Ginger Brown from the former Harlem Globetrotter. Dagger. Putnam dribbles up court. Takes a contact, dishes it to Kelly. Kelly puts on a move. Seems to be double teamed by Rosa and Sierra. But Jordan will drive foul. Jordan Cangelosi can create. Okay, I made a mistake on that Dr. Washington call. I just said Sweet Georgia Brown. Sweet Ginger Brown was a take from a movie on the song Sweet Georgia Brown. But anyway, Jordan Cangelosi at the line for two. Jordan Candelosi's first shot. No good. Seeing a lot of repetition in the free throw percentage by both teams. A lot of bricks. The second shot is good. Rosa dribbles up court. Is not feeling any pressure. Only a minute 10 left in the clock. Doc Wash putting on some moves on Rauschenbach. Like to see these two go face to face. And a good move. A three. No good. Rebound by Brett. Drives up court. Brett Algier dishes. Oh, Rauschenbach drops it. Rosh is laughing. He's disappointed. He knew it was a good pass. It was kind of tough. You know. 45 seconds left here in the game. O'Brien. Bounce pass to Rosa. Rosa. Larry Washington. Never thought I'd call Larry Washington by his first name. Doctor you. <laughs> Rauschenbach cross court pass to Kelly. Kelly takes a three. 
Shot is good. He was very relaxed on that, knowing that the game was over. I don't think they gave that. Oh, there you go. Now the 47 points are on the board. Rosa with the steal back, getting aggressive. Jim O'Brien, the veteran, is going to hold on to the ball. Three quarter press. Three quarter court press by the middle Jordan, score. They get ball Jordan back. Jordan Cangelosi, let him score. All right, Jordan. Good left hand lay. And Unsung hero. That'll do it for the Ultimania game. Score is high school 57, middle school 49. I got, I got to tell you, Dan, I, uh, I really thought, I really thought the middle school was going to pull this out. They got a young, got young blood in Brad Garcia, Warren Patafio, Kevin Wilson. I mean, Jordan Cangelosi, they're athletes. Just sometimes the ball doesn't fall. I know myself from playing out there. I was a little rusty. I got a, I got a bucket because uh, Sue Abel hooked me up, and that was a lot of fun. I really had a lot of fun doing the broadcast with you. Hopefully, we can do these in the future, and uh, we'll close out here. You got anything to add to this broadcast? Uh, it was just a great game. I uh, had a really good time uh, watching all you know my teachers, coaches, uh, you know, go head to head, and uh, just watch them have a great time. Uh, and it's just nice to see everybody uh, you know coming together and uh, just having a great time together. It's a great event, Dan. I'm glad we did it. That we're gonna wrap it up here from the 23rd annual Ultimania basketball game. Final score: High School 57, Middle School 49. We'll see you in the future on WVTV. I'm Ryan Campion. Out.